Hello, welcome back to Phonics is Fun with me, Sarah Atherton, and the lovely Rusty the Rabbit. I'm a children's author and teacher, and in this video we are going to practice our phonics. Today we are looking at a digraph, and the digraph is oo, oo. Can you say oo very clearly? Rusty's a bit confused because he said we've already done oo. Yes, but don't forget this one has two letters making just the one oo sound and the other one was just one letter. And when it's two letters, we call that a digraph. OK, so it mainly goes at the end of words or in the middle, not at the beginning very often at all. So first of all, let's try writing it down. We should be good at this. We've done oo by itself, so it's just making sure there are two of them next to each other. OK, let's get something to write with. Okay, hopefully we remember from last time that we start at the top. So we're going to travel straight down and curve at the bottom and then straight away we do the same again next to it and that's our digraph. Ooh. One more time, straight down, curve at the bottom and one right next to it and that is ooh. Okay, keep practicing that one at home. So can we think of some words with oo as a digraph? So that would be usually in the middle or at the end of the word. Okay, Rusty? He said bull. Yes, that's right. Bull has got that digraph at the end. Okay, any more? Oh yes, bell. Very good. Like a school bell maybe or a doorbell. Can we think of one more? Yes, shell. Very good. I like finding shells at the beach. Can you hear the oo at the end of shell? Well done. Children at home, have a look around and see what else you can find that has that digraph. And don't forget, say the sound and write it down. And Rusty and I will be back soon for some more Phonics is Fun. Bye for now.